Good morning traders. Welcome to Privateer FX. Got the Asia preview, North American wrap. Not much of a wrap. Um, we did have the Labor Day holiday <clears throat> in the US and Canada had a uh, holiday as well. But here we are. Summer is now officially over. So we're back in the saddle. We're ready to go. We are... Uh, You'll be hearing from us every day. Um, got the Australian dollar chart here. Um, before we get into that, let's just talk about September and some of the risk highlights um, that we have coming forward in the next couple of weeks. I mean, the center stage is Brexit. We've got the US Canada trade negotiations. The deadline for that is September 30th. We've got Swedish elections September 9th. We've got the Italian budget at the end of September. We got Brazilian elections uh, September 20th, I believe. U.S. midterms not until November 6th. Um, back to September, we have the ECB on the 13th, the FOMC on the 26th, and of course the trade discussions between U.S. Ch US and China. EM. Uh, continues to trade weak. Uh, the Turkish lira today, uh, they had higher inflation numbers came out today. Um, that's that coming after the Turkish central, central bank, central bank threatened action at next week's NPC meeting. Um, dollar Turkey rose got up to uh, we're close 662 it was up about a percent and a half against the dollar today. Um, the worst performer on the day was the British pound, and that was on the back of May dismissing any probability of a second referendum. Um, she is seeing renewed calls for her ousting. Um, the UK manufacturing PMI came in overnight uh, weaker, 52.8 versus 54. Um, you know, starting to question the Bank of England's recent hike. So, um, what happened last night in Asia? Australian dollar was weaker, mainly on the threat of, uh, initially was weaker in Asia on the China tariffs and domestic funding issues. We still like selling rallies. Um, there's plenty more room for the shorts to build. Uh, we did have a reversal day higher. Got down to an old low from a couple of years ago, 71.67. Um, we still like selling rallies, you know, to these old lows, um, 72.40 area. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, upcoming, speaking of the Australian dollar, we have the RBA during your session. There'll be no change in the rate. A couple of the analysts have put out, uh, here's one one of the banks out of Australia. Um, we don't expect them to be hiking at all in 2018. Um, I think Governor Lowe's remarks on uh, uh, post the meeting will be closely followed. Um, but, you know, the market is, is expecting nothing. And, you know, data has been a bit mixed of late, so I think we'll be trading either side of, of this, um, looking to sell rallies for sure. Um, Euro dollar, you know, not much going on. It was just slight dollar selling today during our session, but again, it, you know, no one was really in front of the screens. Uh, dollar China here and dollar yen there. So anyhow, that uh, that should do it. Good luck uh, with the RBA, and you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.